Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my party. So, one of my Thanksgiving traditions is that I always make our stuffing um, from scratch. So, I thought it would be cool to make a video of me doing that and showing you all of the wonderful Pampered Chef products that I use to make the job so much easier and more enjoyable. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to be changing the camera angles throughout the video so you can see what I'm doing um, as opposed to seeing my face the whole time. My first favorite tool is the stainless steel non-stick wok. This is 12 inches in diameter. It comes with a lid. It is one of my favorite, favorite um, products. And I can't even tell you how much I really enjoy it. One of the many cool features about it is the inside, um, the coating. Can you tell this is kind of like a mesh pattern? That's actually four layers, and that helps it to be non-stick. You can use any kind of utensil on this, and it will not mess up the um, coating that's inside. This has a lifetime guarantee. I'm going to set my lid aside. Obviously, I need to turn my stove on. First, I'm going to melt some butter. Get that melting. Melting. While that's melting, I'm going to cut up all of my ingredients. Going to move my cutting board over here. Now, I have the old-fashioned large groove cutting board from Pampered Chef. They have improved it. Now um, the sides of this have a rubber strip all around the outside to prevent it from um, sliding around on you while you're working on it. I just turned my, oven, my stove off. Okay. And one of my favorite knives is the 8-inch chef's knife. Um, this comes with the knife block set. I believe you can purchase it separately as well. But I'm going to cut up my celery. I started before I started videotaping. Now, did you know there's a proper way to hold this? Do you see the PC logo on the side? It's on either side. So you want to put your thumb and pointer finger on those symbols. Rest your hand on the handle. And you're going to chop your food in a rocking motion. So you want your tip to rest on the cutting board at all times. And you're rocking it the knife back and forth to chop your food. I am by no means a professional chef, so I'm not as fast as what you might see on TV, but I still feel like this makes me better at chopping food. Um, the knife block also comes with four other different size knives and the kitchen shears. These knives are very, very sharp. I learned that the hard way when I first got these. And did you know that you do not want to go back and forth on the edge of the blade but you can do this all you want, and you will not get cut. And the reason I point that out is that that's how I learned the hard way 
how sharp these knives are. I was cleaning one and I was going back and forth, you know, with my wash rag. And this was so sharp that it cut through the rag and into my finger. I was able to stop soon enough so it wasn't that bad of a cut, but my goodness. So just keep that in mind when you're using any kind of knife, whether it's pamper chest or not. Okay, so I got my celery in there. All right, I washed my mushrooms ahead of time. Now this is our quick slice. Comes with a protector. You can actually keep the protector on the bottom. And then do you see these layers of knives? Not knives, but blades. That's what's cutting our mushrooms. So we're going to put our mushrooms on the top of this. And depending on how big your mushrooms are, determines how many you can put in there at one time. I'm going to stop at three since I have a big mushroom. So you want to put it at an angle. And voila. And you just throw that in to the pan. And you just repeat that until you have all your mushrooms sliced. From the slicer to the pan. Now I don't know about you, but I prefer being able to slice multiple mushrooms at one time as opposed to one mushroom at a time with a knife. Okay, I'm going to use one of our bamboo spoons to do the mixing. These come in a set of three. <clears throat> we have many utensils. I feel it's just a matter of preference. Um, you can use, you know, like I said, in this wok, you can use nylon, metal, silicone. You know, sometimes I use one of our silicone. Um, scrapers which are made of silicone but for today i'm using this bamboo spoon just mix what i have in the pan so far i'll show you right now whoops that was smart sherry <laughs> let's keep the food in the pan all right i'm going to lower my heat a little bit okay next we like olives in our stuffing, so I'm just going to put about a quarter of the can of olives in this quick slice. And again, I don't buy the pre-diced olives. I buy the whole olives. And... I can layer all of these olives on top of this quick slice and cut them all at once. Look at that. Now, I'm going to put them back on there and do one more cut. And I'm going to put these in my pan as well. We need to get an onion in there. I'm going to get the skin off.
Sorry I've disappeared from your view. Okay. Get some of the gnarly parts off here. Next I'm going to use our manual food processor to cut the onion up finer. But first I want to cut it into a couple of bigger chunks, or shall I say smaller chunks. This comes with very sharp blades that come, come out. Yes, I learned that the hard way as well. <laughs> food another stir. This wok fits a lot of food which is perfect for when I'm doing this stuffing. I also make stir fries in it. Okay now there's a lock on here. You just unlock it and your handle comes up and you just simply pump that handle. The more you pump the handle, the more it chops your food. Okay. I'm going to use one of our scrapers. Let's put that down there so I can chop some more. A little more needed. Okay, we're going to take that out. I still see a couple chunks I need to make some more room for. Oh, what the heck. Oh, I don't have my blade in properly. There we go. Just going to use our scraper to get that off of the lid. Going to take that blade out and scrape that with the scraper. Now this bowl of this processor can be used for storage. It, this also comes with a flat lid for storage. Say you want to make a dip and keep it in there. You just slap the lid on put that in the fridge. Okay, just using my scraper, get every last bit that I can of onion out of here. These scrapers come in, is it four sizes? All made of silicone, heat resistant up to, I believe it's 450 degrees. They don't stain, they're wonderful. One of my longest um, owned products I've had 20 plus years. Okay, let's give that a mix. Everything's cooking really nice. Okay, let me get my cutting board out of the way. Right, next, I like to use fresh garlic. Let me show you a nifty trick. These are, this is a nylon pan scraper. You get one with every um, stone, stoneware piece and the cast iron skillets. But did you know there's many more uses for it other than cleaning pants? One is to separate garlic cloves from the head. You just Put that in between your garlic cloves. You got, yeah, <laughs> you have to push down enough. Okay, let's get this cutting board back here. All right, so I've got one, 
Now my recipe calls for three cloves. Okay, so I already had two separated, so I'm good. Next, I'm going to use our garlic press. In my opinion, when a recipe calls for, for garlic, there's nothing that compares to fresh garlic. And this tool makes it so much easier to use it. So all you do is you open this up. You take your clove of garlic with the skin. Put it inside there, close it, and we're going to squeeze it into our pan. This is a cleaning tool. You just use it to scrape the extra garlic off of there. And then when you remove it, there's your skin. And we're going to do that with the other two. Put it in. Close it. Squeeze. Scrape. Open up. Remove the skin. And one more time. back in a moment okay one of what we consider our key ingredients is chestnuts I know not everybody love, likes chestnuts but my family does they just add an extra nice nutty taste to the stuffing so we have chestnut trees let me show you my we have chestnut trees on our property, but they don't always produce chestnuts. Um, so we use, sometimes we had to buy them from the store. This year, we didn't have any on our trees, and they have been difficult to find at the store. So we found chestnuts to order online. Who knew? So this is what I'm using. So I need a pound of chestnuts. So I'm going to show you our scale. This is the digital scale. This is wonderful as well. Turn it on with the tear button. Now I pre-measured my chestnuts, but I wanted to show you. You can choose the uh, unit that you want to measure in. And whenever you're ready to, to weigh, like I measured in our old small batter bowl, when I first put it on here, it of course weighed the bowl. So I just pushed the tear button long enough so it zeroed out, and then I put the chestnuts in and it weighed the chestnuts for me. So that's our digital scale. Okay, now how am I going to cut these chestnuts? I'm going to use our manual food processor again. I'm just going to put a little bit in at a time. have in there.
Okay. I'll come back when I'm done chopping these. Okay, so I'm on my finishing touches of the stuffing. Um, so I cooked a box of Uncle Ben's long grain and wild rice. Mixed that into the um, wok. And I had my one sun toast, a whole loaf of whole wheat bread. And I'm finishing cutting that up with our 8 inch bread knife. And I'll just show you that real quick. How nice and sharp this is. Now this is also part of the knife block. But it's so sharp. Okay, so let me show you my wok full of the stuffing mix. So this is the other cubes of bread, and then there's the rice mixed in. I'm going to mix the rest of this bread in here, but to make it easier for me to mix, I'm going to put it in a big mixing bowl that I have. I do not have any of the uh, recent Pampered Chef mixing bowls, but we do sell those as well. There's stainless steel mixing bowl set, there's glass mixing bowls, there's the classic batter bowl. It's really whatever your preference is. So what I'll do with this next is I'll put it all in a big mixing bowl. I'll store it in my fridge overnight, and then tomorrow morning when I'm ready to stuff my turkey, I will get it out and I'm going to post a nifty tip under this video that I recently learned. Some of you that have been in a recent party with me have already seen this, but do you know a nifty tip of stuffing your bird? So this is one of our uh, measure all cups. This is the big one. We've got a medium size and a small size. You simply yeah use the handle <laughs> of this to push it down and I'm going to fill this up with stuffing tomorrow I'll put more in but then you put this in the cavity of the bird where you want to stuff it and then Let's move this over here so you can see. Pretend this is my bird. And then you, I'm going to push this. And it'll put the stuffing into the bird. I thought that was genius when I read it. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you've learned a new uh, tip or trick that you didn't know before. Maybe you found a new product that you just can't live without in your kitchen. If you have questions about anything that I've talked about on here, feel free to either post them below this video or send me a message and I'll be happy to answer. So I've got a question for you. What is one of your favorite Pampered Chef tools that you either have or you would like to have that you think makes cooking one of your favorite recipes easier. All right, I'll talk to you later.